right, welcome back to ProLine. Jim and I are going to look at the 2016 NFC West, defending champions of the Arizona Cardinals. The Seahawks are always in the mix. The 49ers are now trying to start all over. And speaking of starting all over, the new Los Angeles Rams. We'll take a look at all four teams. First, I want to talk about my entire NFL preseason. That's four weeks of plays for $29. You get the entire preseason. It's actually four weeks plus the Hall of Fame game if I do anything on that. So it's four plus weeks. Plus, I've got a big play going in baseball tonight. I'm going to include that at no additional cost. It's part of the package. You get plays every day. All this for just $29 at 855 472 2577. Jim, you continue to crush the books in baseball, and I know you're geared up for the gridiron as well. Absolutely, Dave. 15 and 4 Major League Baseball run the last week, as well as 114 and 67 overall run, plus 36 and 10 with my high rollers. You can get one of those high rollers, those red hot high rollers, going tonight, along with four weeks of NFL preseason. For $29, I was 40 and 25 with my NFL executive plays last season. Get on board. Call 866-546-9467. All right, so let's look at the NFC West. And the very first thing that struck me when I saw um, the, the over and under win totals come out, the Arizona Cardinals were 13 and 3 last year. And the over and under on them is nine and a half wins. That's a big drop-off. You generally don't see a decline like that, particularly when most of the personnel is back. So why do you think the odds makers <laughs> have such a, you know, I, I, maybe it's not the right terminology because they're still, still well, supposed to be a winning team, but not nearly what they were last year. I think they're nearly what they were last year, but it has to do with their scheduling. You know, where do they, they got to travel. They got some, like, season-ending stuff. They have to go to the East Coast and play some cold-weather things. Mm -hmm. Uh, games in Green Bay and New England, that kind of th stuff hurts. Uh, then you have to look at the rest of the league. I don't see them dropping off too much because I think they have, of course, you never know what you're going to get out of the Rams, but the Niners are just, nah, they're, they're, te they're terrible. No. So anybody that's playing them that has any talent whatsoever is going to beat this team. I, I don't see the Niners getting even, four wins is about all I can give them. So when you look at, Arizona, I think they're going to be pretty close to what they were last year, except for the travel issues. They do have some long-distance travel issues and potentially in cold weather. Coming out of a warm climate, not good for them. Also, you just wonder if there might be some kind of a, a mental hangover because they get murdered by Carolina in the biggest game of the year. Carson Palmer probably had the worst game of his life. They didn't play too well against Green Bay either. No, they, the, they were, they were I mean, horrible. It's not for a, a call in that game. Right. It, it was, it was, they ended the season they wrong. They did not end the season well. And Palmer is, what's he, 36, 36 years old. But he's an old, see, he's an old, 36, he's an old 36. Because yeah. he's had injuries. Those injuries are repeatable. But they have a pretty good backup. They have a good team. Oh, I, like, yeah. So, yeah, I like their head coach. I yep. like the job he's done. He did some good good work up at Baltimore. This is a good head coach, but this is a tough. This is the have and have not league or division. Seattle is brutal. They're very good. They should be. And yes, they and are. They should be hungry because I think Seattle. I, I think if you ask anybody who played for that football team last year, they would say we underachieved. Oh. They, they 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 were flat early. In too many games, made a lot of mistakes. Those games came back to haunt them. Yeah, they, well, look at what they did in the Super Bowl the previous year and how they... How they lost it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so they, there was a hangover. They started the season off poorly. They made a big comeback. Russell Wilson's been incredible. The, incredible quarterback. Maybe, I mean, arguably the best quarterback in the league for what he's what, got. It, but I thought that one thing that got them last year was that they almost seemed to be relying on Marshall and Lynch coming back, when's he going to be back in the lineup? Well, well now, now, he's, now he's they not know there he's anymore. Gone. Thomas Rawls is the running back they now. they got a good backup. I like Rawls. He's not Marshall and Lynch. I mean, no. he's not going to annihilate the uh, opposing uh, line like, like Lynch did. But he's a good football player. There's, there's talent all over the place. The Legion of Boom looks as strong as ever. This, I this, think they've got to win the division. They, I don't know if they've got to win the division because... Well, I think they're it, just better than Arizona. They are better than Arizona. The question here is their offensive line. It's been a weak spot for this team. They've got to protect 
Russell Wilson, he, I mean, he's not unbreakable, and he does get hit a lot. He does remarkable stuff. I mean, 34 touchdowns, eight interceptions, 4,000 yards, 550 yards rushing. I mean, this, this guy's great. You want a, an amazing stat on this team, by the way. I, I really find this to be amazing. This is going back to 2012, and it includes playoff games. Seahawks have two losses by more than a touchdown. They're, that's a really good football team. And they're, to me, as capable as anybody in the league and have as good a shot as anybody in the league to get the, back to the Super Bowl. I, when you're that strong on defense, it's hard for the other teams to spread out away from you and have those games where you lose by more than a touchdown because they don't give up any points. I, I, this team has led the league in, in points given up for, I think, this four, this will be four years. Yeah. If they I think do they're going to go over the 10.5 wins. I think you're going to see a commitment from this team from day one this year that you maybe didn't see last year as they kind of just deemed themselves a playoff team. Right. And right. they got themselves in a mess. Early. They, played some, they, they, they had some games they underachieved last year. Now, the other two teams <laughs> in the division. Uh, I'll talk to the 49ers first because I know everybody's dismissing them, and I'm not by any means suggesting they're going to be a playoff contender. But I do think Chip Kelly is a huge in-game upgrade from Tom Sula. Um, Come on, Tom Sula was completely well, he was, overmatched. He should not have been he head coach. He was completely coach. overmatched. So just on that alone, I think this team's going to be better. I think there's going to be more excitement there. Kelly did well when he first arrived in Philadelphia. But he had a lot of talent, too. He did, but, but he still he energized have that, that here. team. No, but I think his system might play here. And I, I wouldn't be – and again, I'm not, I don't want anybody to misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm not suggesting by any means that the 49ers are – Going to be, uh, you know, 8-8 eight and eight and hanging around the playoff chase uh, late in the season. But the total 5.5, I'm not so quick to bet that under. I think they can get to six wins, maybe seven. I think, look, I don't think the Rams are any better than they are. The Rams, to me, are a bad football team. I know they'll have some excitement playing in L.A. Uh, after what amounted to a lame duck season in St. Louis. But Jeff Fisher's been there forever, and he hasn't won anything. And he hasn't had a winning season no, in 13 years. I don't know why it's going to be any How different. does he keep his job? Nick Foles doesn't impress me as a starting quarterback. No. I love Todd Gurley. But to me, there's holes all over this football team. I think they're going to battle the 49ers. I think this is a 2-2 two and two division. The Seahawks are really good. The Cardinals should be fine. And then you've got the other two teams who are not going to be winning I'm going teams. to disagree with you a little bit here. All right. Um, I think that the Niners are the worst organization in all of football. They, from top to bottom, all the way, it, it's just a mess. Anybody that could get rid of Harbaugh and put in Tom Sula and do the things that they have done, this is a bad organization. That wasn't a good This move. is a bunch of people making decisions for a football team that don't know football, okay? And, and four wins is all I give San Francisco, wow. and I'm not sure where they're going to get them. Well, I'm not betting the over five but, and a half. I just when think, you talk I think about, it'll be tougher than When that. you talk about organizations and you talk about consistency of coaching, even though Fisher, who I always thought was a really good coach, has not had a winning season in 13 years. He always gets to that seven, eight wins. So, and and I, don't see, I don't see the 49ers getting no. And I don't see the Rams four. because I don't think Goff is going to be ready. Uh, I, I don't care for Foles. Todd Gurley, uh, look, we know what Jeff they Fisher. Played, they play defense, and they do not and, turn and the ball look, over. Gurley's going to run the football. Yeah. Maybe they can hang in there. All right. You know, viewers can get free plays every day from us. All you need to do to get these on your cell phone uh, is, uh, is text to a number. Jim, let them know what that is. It's That's easy. right. Text GAME to 25827. You'll get free plays right to your cell phone. Text GAME, G-A-M-E. Two five eight two seven. All right, stay tuned. We're going to look at some new NFL head coaches for 2016, some good hires, maybe some bad ones, maybe some ugly ones. We will assess right here on ProLineTV.com.